It's about a woman, uh, a woman's struggle and fight to break the cycle of abuse in her life. And it's about motherhood and family and love and aspects of that. Very good. Wow, that, that was, was fucking man. good. That I have to say, good. that was pretty good. The film spans over a 10 year period, so who she begins as and who she ends as are very, very different. And it's about what it is to be human and it's about how you take your knocks and how you respond to them. And what I love most about this woman is her bravery and her courage and her resilience and her strength and her flaws. She's totally flawed and Jake doesn't shy away from that, but it's a portrait of a real woman. I always find myself gravitating towards characters that are just kind of dragged through the mud. And there really wasn't a false moment in, in this story. It was just, I could really relate to each and every one of these characters. I mean, I've never lost uh, a child or actually been, you know, close to someone who has lost a child, but I really felt for, for Deb and everyone that is surrounded by, you know, Deb and um, I just, it was heartbreaking, but so beautiful. And uh, my heart is in independent filmmaking. You know, these films don't tend to make a ton of money, but uh, I just do it because I love it. And I think that's why we all do it, um, but yeah. You know, as an actor, it, it's about discovering and uncovering the human experience. And so when you get a script like this, which isn't just about one person or two people, it's about all of these people and how they care for one another and, and how they exist in this world together and how they operate as this little unit um, is just so beautiful. So you don't get the treat of just having this one special relationship, you get many, many, many. So I think as an actor, that's what you're always looking for. So it was very rich with all of that. This family is so close that the two sisters live across the street from each other. So there's 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 a war happening. You know, there's there's a a war within Sienna and what she's going through, and at the same time, you know, where she fits into the uh, into the uh, into the rest of the world. It, there was so much so much going on. Just just reading the script, and then you know, from there it was a very intense experience. You know, we really became a family, and Jake has this kind of spirit and joy and childlike ability to have fun, but. But when we were at work, we were dealing with some incredibly intense feelings. And often the reaction to that is to, you know, we'd all go out for dinner together, but I was in every scene I didn't, you know, we weren't like raving every night. <laughs> we did have, we had a nice night round your fire pit. Jake hosted wonderful barbecues, barbecues and, and dinners. potlucks that everyone contributed yeah. food to and yeah. a bit could. of croquet. Yeah. We play croquet, yeah. And <laughs> croquet and cricket. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, we, we, we behaved as a family. We behaved you know, as a family. And, and we all became great friends doing it. And we shot in a neighborhood. We lived in that street, at the end of the street, um, and just kind of took over this spot. We weren't shooting on a sound stage. It was like... No, we're at Jack and Dottie's house. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Jack and Dottie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. The, the, the people that lived in, the, in Kath's house Kath and Terry, they're in the movie. Jack and Dossie. Jack, Jack and Dossie, you know, they're at the wedding. Dossie's the, got some demons. Yeah, she's got her. some demons. She's <laughs> spicy. Love you, darling. So we, yeah. we really we involved the people in the in the community as well, and that was, and they invited us in. So you were sort of, we were guests in this this yeah. amazing kind of. It's very true, to, true to the story that the the, the, the people in in the street that we were shooting in.